I'm laying on the truck. Good afternoon, YouTubers. My name is Clarence, and today's video on Fix It Yourself is about programming your key fob for your vehicle. Different vehicles have different um, steps. Um, what I'm going to do right now, before I actually make the video, we're going to cover <clears throat> some stuff that I didn't find on YouTube and I didn't find in the books that you need to know before you um, attempt to reprogram your key fobs. These are the fobs or transmitters or remotes for your car, depending on who you are and how do you um, refer to them. Um, I call them key fobs. Also inside of the vehicle, which is a 2020 um, Chevy Silverado RST. I'm gonna show you where the transmitter pocket or the transmitter slot that you put these in during the process and during the process when you are um, reprogramming. The reason I'm making this particular video is because they don't show you where to insert these in the um, 2020 Chevy Silverado um, RST and you're not going to believe where it's located at. Also, I'm going to talk to you about um, some stuff that they don't talk about. For example, when you use your key that's already been cut by the factory that's got to go in the driver's door and you turn it to the left counterclockwise five times within 10 seconds, uh, some of the steps that they're not going to um, talk to you about. One, um, once you get on the display panel above the steering wheel, it tells you um, insert the first remote into the transmitter pocket. Well, you got to know where the transmitter pocket is at. That's one. The second thing I'm going to tell you is um, on the display panel, when it says, first of all, when it says um, press the start stop button, Anytime you press the start stop button, the thing it don't tell you is you have to have your feet on the brake pedal for it to um, actually work. So with that being said, I'm going to show you two things right quick. The first one is the transmitter for the 2020 Chevy Silverado um, RST. And this is not, you can't find this. I couldn't find it anywhere on video. Yeah. Now, believe it or not, the transmitter slot, the transmitter is right here. It's right here between this cup holder and this cup holder. You put the transmitter in this place right here down to the bottom and you put it face down. Let me get a transmitter to show you. This is one of my transmitters. Okay. When it says put the transmitter between the cup holders, it don't tell you a whole lot. You can put it face down or you can put it face up, but it has to go here. Look, right there is where it goes. Um, under, underneath this cup holder is the receiver for the transmitter. You can put it that way or you can turn it this way. But you just lay it in there and that's it. That's where the uh, pocket or the transmitter slot or whatever you want to call it, the groove is located at. I didn't know that. It's not on YouTube and it's not on Facebook, but this is it. It goes right here. Okay. And the second thing is Sarah steering lock. I'm going to show you how to move, remove this code. Mm, most people will say, take it back to the dealer, but you don't necessarily have to take it back to the dealer. Subscribe to the channel and I will show you how to remove the service steering column lock. Also, before you hit this button here, this um, start stop engine button, you have to depress the paddle during each process of relearning or reprogramming your key fob. Okay? And those are the little tidbits that you can't find or you don't see when you are. Uh, doing this process okay now let's get back to me um i have two that i'm gonna use i took the keys off because it's easier to use 
Um, so now that you know where the slot is at to where you put the fob in, the um, key fob or the transmitter or the remote at, that's one thing. I even had a guy that works at the dealership. He was a car salesman. Um, I had a mechanic that worked at the dealership that did not know the center console between the two cup holders. Underneath there is a signal that picks up the uh, transmitters that reprogram that helps you with the reprogramming of these two items. And the other thing is, seriously, when they tell you to press the start stop button, they don't tell you to step on the brake pedal. Step on the brake pedal first, okay? I'm gonna talk you through the process right quick. Before you do the reprogramming, take both key fobs, move them at least 10 meters away from your vehicle. Just put them somewhere over away from the vehicle. You can put them on the back of the tailgate or whatever. Um, then you're gonna take the key that's been cut by the dealer and the driver's door, you're going to put it, insert it in the driver's door lock. And you're going to um, turn it five times to the left or counterclockwise in 10 seconds or less. After you do that, have the first fob ready because you're going to wait 10 minutes. 10 minutes, right down, almost down to the second, 10 minutes. And you're going to look at the display screen on your dash above the steering column steering wheel and it's going to say insert the first key fob or transmitter into the pocket and I just showed you where the pocket was at and you put it in there then you're going to step on the paddle the gas brake gas pedal you're going to step on the brake paddle and you're going to push the button the start stop button and it's going to say please wait programming and you're going to wait four or five minutes, 10 minutes or whatever until it says programming complete. Please insert the second key fob. And once it says insert the second key fob, then you're going to insert the second key fob into that same pocket that I showed you previously. And you're going to wait that process. Once it's over, once it's over, the, um, the console uh, message screen is going to say uh, successfully programmed. And once that happens, to get out of the programming process, listen to this, to get out of the programming process, you're going to step on your brake paddle and you're going to press the start stop button, engine start stop button for 12 seconds. After that 12 seconds is over, it takes you out of the um, programming procedure. Now, once that's done, you press the lock, unlock, on one of your key fobs and you should be able to see your lights, um, accessories and all that stuff work and you're done. If that, if your key fobs don't work properly, cause the first time I did it, I had to go back and redo it again. And, uh, it took me two times. If it don't work, then repeat the process and start over again. You ain't gonna hurt nothing. All you're doing is reprogramming. Other than that, I'm Clarence. I'm from the Fix It Yourself channel, FIY, and I say that because guess what? Most of the stuff, you don't have to take it back to the shop. You can do it yourself. Fix it yourself. I'm programming key fobs for a 2020 Chevrolet Silverado RST. Fix it yourself, FIY. That's my trademark, FIY Fix It Yourself. Um, if this information was helpful, hit the like button. Um, if it's not, hit the unlike and we'll talk about it. And also subscribe to the channel because once you subscribe, there's going to be a, a following video step by step showing you how to program your key fob. My name is Clarence, FIY, Fix It Yourself. Peace, and I'm out.